Have you ever sat down to look at your expenses and discovered something disturbing? Let's see, what did I purchase this month? Chocolate milk, chocolate milk, chocolate milk, Hulu. Hulu? When did I get Hulu? You forgot to end your free trial. Well, this free service will end your subscription problems once and for all. Today's video is sponsored by ScribeUp, a free Google Chrome extension designed to take the headache out of subscriptions and put you in control. And it's not just free, it actually saves you money. Saving money is what this channel is all about. So let me show you how ScribeUp works. I'm gonna be honest, I've forgotten to end free subscription trials a bunch of times. And every time it happens, I'm like, yep, that's why they have a free trial, dadgummit. Well, ScribeUp will actually help you on both the front end and the back end of a subscription. Let's start with the latter of the two. Take that Hulu subscription that I had no idea I was signed up for. What if there are other subscriptions I'm just not aware I'm paying for? ScribeUp will help me with that. All I have to do is connect my debit card and it'll scan my transactions to find those pesky recurring subscriptions. Check out how it works. So I've already actually done some testing with this, so I've connected it to one of our bank accounts, but I'll show you how to connect it to another bank account. So what I'm gonna do is go here to settings, add another card, and this is gonna do it through Plaid, which is a secure way to connect bank accounts, and we'll do Huntington. So now we're gonna say, okay, it's gonna do a subscription scan. Well, that's good to see. We don't have any subscriptions on that debit card. Now I've done this with a couple other debit cards and it's brought up several recurring transactions, some of which aren't actually subscriptions and you can actually tell it these aren't subscriptions, but I'll get to that. So the first couple are mortgage and insurance and uh, then we actually have Hulu, which is a subscription. And the rest of them, aside from Discovery Plus, are not actually subscriptions, they're just recurring transactions. We don't honestly pay for that many subscriptions. So if I want to, since I know that some of these aren't actually subscriptions, they're just transactions like insurance, I can go here and click remove. I can remove all the subscriptions that are just recurring transactions like insurance, and then my dashboard isn't cluttered up and I can focus only on my subscriptions. Like I said, subscriptions that I signed up for outside of ScribeUp, I can actually add to my account. Now if I go down and update my payment information with my ScribeUp virtual card, now my Hulu subscription is being paid through the ScribeUp virtual card, and I can now manage it through my ScribeUp account. If you connect your subscriptions to your ScribeUp account, you can easily end a subscription with one click. Now the thing I love about this is you can actually sign up for certain free trial subscriptions through ScribeUp. And instead of giving the company your personal card number, ScribeUp has their own virtual card that they assign to your account. When you sign up, it uses their card instead of yours. And you only get charged if you decide to keep the subscription. All I have to do is go down here and find a subscription that I wanna try. Let's go with iHeartRadio. Now I just go up here, click activate free trial. And then it's gonna give me the virtual card number here on the right. I just click it to copy and hit subscribe. If I go back to ScribeUp and go to my dashboard and refresh, it's got two subscriptions in here and it'll show me how much time I have left on each subscription. Now in the case of YouTube TV, I actually don't wanna keep that because it's a little too expensive for my taste. So I'm just gonna go here and click unsubscribe and voila. I'm unsubscribed. And here's the best part. You won't get caught paying for something that you don't want because ScribeUp will actually send you reminders that a free trial is ending. And you can sign up for auto unsubscribe so that you never get charged after a free trial ever again. I love the auto unsubscribe feature. Would have come in pretty handy recently. See, I signed up for a free trial to a music subscription, actually for these YouTube videos. It was coming up to the end of the month long trial and I kept telling myself, hey love, you gotta end that subscription. End the subscription or suffer the consequences. Hey love, yeah you, unsub was charged 50 bucks, and when I contacted the company, they said they couldn't process a refund. <sighs> Think about how much chocolate milk 50 bucks could buy. Serves me right for not using a service that unsubscribes automatically. Now how about my current subscriptions that I actually wanna keep? Why would I add those to ScribeUp as well? There are two main reasons. One, you want one-click cancellation functionality. And two, you wanna get recurring charge reminders and updates on price hikes. And a side benefit of using ScribeUp on the regular is you'll get ScribeUp credit for normal shopping. From places like Walmart, Old Navy, and some other stores, when you activate cash back through the Chrome extension, which means you can actually use that credit towards subscriptions you have connected to ScribeUp. And speaking of subscriptions, I would be silly not to ask you to like this video and subscribe to the channel right now, wouldn't I? Subscribe down below if you like cake. One question you may have is, how does ScribeUp actually make their money if it's a free service? Yeah, I was, yeah, actually, I was actually wondering the same thing. thing. Yeah, I don't like getting caught by hidden fees, but the good news is you won't get charged for anything but the subscriptions that you choose to keep. And those won't cost any more by using ScribeUp than not using it. The way ScribeUp 
gets paid is through what banks call interchange fees. That's some of the fees that companies pay for payment processing. It's a lot of P's there. So in Skybub's case, they'll collect a little bit of the fee that Hulu or YouTube TV or whatever pays to Visa in order to process your payment. At no extra cost to you. So far, I'm a big fan of Scribeup. Should have signed up for it sooner, man. There you go, my conscience even agrees. So if you wanna sign up, go to scribeup.io or go to the link in the description down below to install their free Chrome extension. There's one way to know if you're crazy, and that's if you aren't using Scribeup to manage your subscriptions. And if you hear a voice in your head. Oh gosh. If you'd like to see more ways to save money, then check out this playlist right here. Or watch this video next if you wanna check out the best budget apps of 2022.